understand a female, how you gonna understand yourself? Because that's how we got here, you feel me? So, like, dudes need to calm down. Calm the fuck down. It's okay to have fun. It's okay to dress different. It's okay to, like, talk different. Just have fun. Because, like, this is life at the end of the day. This shit not a video game. Once the shit over, it's over with. So do everything you possibly can to have fun. Like, that's all I'm about. Like, have fun, bro. Like, I'm, I'm down for whatever. As long as we having fun. Absolutely, though. I feel like a lot of guys are too hard. Like, a lot of guys ain't got the heart to come on live with a paint bandana on across their head. Hell no. You see this shit? This is some rock star shit. No nigga about to do that. Like, I know a lot of niggas I love. They be like, bro, come on, man. I be like, bro, you know this who I am. Mean, I know you're on that rock star shit, kid, but I'm a thug. I can't be doing this. <laughs> I mean, like, I know. Do you, do, and also, do you feel like a lot of rappers got an image to uphold, though, with that bullshit, yeah. that fake ass gangster shit? Exactly. That's why I never went down that route. I know, literally, it's more money if you're for the kids and for the females. All that gangster shit, dude's only gonna take you so far. You gotta get the females and you gotta get the kids as your audience. And and, and believe it or not, though, if you got them females, and especially the Caucasian white females, like Drake do, he has to wrap around his finger, you will have longevity in the game. But yeah. see, a lot of people so street, they don't never want to go pop. They feel like they selling out. Nigga, we started pop. We started the rock star shit. R.P. Lil Richard, the first rock star was Lil Richard. Like we started this shit. We now need to take it back. Now I think cocaine overdose though. <laughs> or, and, and seeing all those women do drugs, was you ever tempted to do drugs? Not those drugs, but yeah. What like, drugs have you experimented with? Uh, since I was like. I say in seventh grade, so I say like twelve. I didn't try a few pills like ecstasy, perks, Zans. I tried Zans a few times. I didn't like them though. Uh, lean. I was heavy on lean till like last year. That was like my best friend. I smoked weed like constantly. Like I got to because like I got anxiety, so that should be helping me calm the fuck down. Mm. I'm not into liquor like that though. Mm. And uh, you got a song also called "Personal Porn Store" off Boner God. How did that song come about, bro? Hey man, I be making flicks with these chicks. I'm not gonna lie to you, kid. I be making flicks with these chicks, you know. But it's really, it's really like um, I feel like I got the girl I want now. So yeah. like, that's like we already talked about that. That's my personal bay like that. I'm a porn star for you, you a porn star for me. We ain't porn star for nobody else, you feel me? Like, so what you're saying is y'all record each other? yes. Making flicks. You think I'm lying, bro? We making flicks for real. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to see you on Pornhub sooner or later. <laughs> you already know. Get that check. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, since you made that song, Porn Star, like, what is your favorite? Who is your favorite porn star? Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Let me think of her name. Let me think of her name. She a light skin. She from Houston. Uh, fuck. I can't think Alexis of her Texas? Name. Hell no. I hate her. Oh, yeah. I do got an OnlyFans, but, uh, fuck, what's her name? I can't think of her name right now. She thick, though. I love her, bro. I swear to God. That's... Ooh, Pinky? I know, I fuck with Pinky, though. Hey, my, my aunt has put me on Pinky. I was like, Pinky? Who the fuck is Pinky? Well, you a young boy. You don't know nothing about Pinky. Only Hell no. Nah. You a little young up. boy. You don't know nothing about <laughs> You talking about Cherokee or, like, who? I know about, um, I fuck with Daisy Dabs hard. Mm. But what's that girl name, man? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, get in my bag right quick. Let me get in my bag. Let me give you some assistance, bro. Let me pass you the assist. Pass you the assist right now, man. Damn, I really can't. I talk about her every day. <laughs> Damn, you ain't talking about her every day. You getting stage fright right now, man. Oh, God. What the fuck is her name? Okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on right there. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Is it Madison Ivy? Nah, she like, she light skin, she thick, she like 19. Fuck. 
I made a whole song about this chick, and I can't remember her name. Damn. Lisa Ann? I fuck with Lisa Ann, though. No. What's what's that girl name? Diamond something. Diamond something. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said she black, ain't it? Hold yeah, she's black. Hold on, hold on. Let me get in my bag right quick. Let me get in my bag. <laughs> get in your bag. You got it, man. Let me see. Black porn star. What's that? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get in my bag. Let me get in my bag. Okay, 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 okay. I'm in my bag right now. We in it, but we live right now. <laughs> Let's right go. Now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, hold on. Who, Kiera Noor? That's it is? Yes. Is it this, this one right there? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I see why, bro. She is <laughs> smoking. Smoking like a 38. <laughs> man, so Kira Noor is your favorite porn star. Why is that? No, man, it, it was just different. Like, I like, I like different shit. Like, I like watching different shit. Like, so I could tell my girl, "Hey, do this." <laughs> like, do so, this, do so, so you kind of like just jack all to the shit, like, and then you just going to tell your girl. Or, I don't watch but, it with my girl. Oh, y'all watch it with your girl, okay. <laughs> yeah, it got you. You don't watch it with your girl, you're not watching porn for real. Really? So y'all try to reenact what y'all just seen and shit? <laughs> <laughs> got to. Be like, hey, hey, turn over this way. All right, get the handcuffs. All right, let me get the gap for you. Like, Hold up, you on that 58, 50 Shades of Grey shit, man, getting handcuffs. I think I'm not, bro. Right, did you like the movie? Hell no, I think that movie is trash. That's not how shit really go. <laughs> that shit not real. Maybe with white people, not with black people out there. Yeah, with white people, that's probably how it go. But that shit look lame to me. I was like, come on, bro. Got come harder than that, ain't it? <laughs> but about me, when I, when I watch porn or whatever, though, bro, I like to, like, fast forward to the fuck, you know, you just like to watch the role play and shit before they get there. No, I love the role play. I like the acting of it, like. I look at porn as an art form. Like, you got to mm -hmm. look at it as an art form. Like, they doing this for real, for real. They acting, reading scripts. All right, I'm going to say this. It just builds up. So, when I come, it's a bigger come. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel like it had to be corny. The guy be the pizza guy and two girls. They're like, hey, I got my pizza. And then yeah, the guy pull out his dick or some shit. Like, you I'm know, the corny thing. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you said you had only fans, like. Oh, yeah. Okay, what are you Simone doing? Samoa Richards! Samoa Richards! Yes! My boy got it. Samoa Richards was the second one. Samoa Richards. Samoa Richards, okay. Oh, baby. I can't find her. Samoa Richards. She must be a new porn star. I don't yeah. really know all the new ones, though. I, I'm infatuated with all the old ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta hop on Samoa Richards, though. She, see, Zenny got it. Samoa Richards, that's, ooh. That's but what do, you, what do you do on your only fans? I'll be finessing. I'm not gonna hold <laughs> Like, how you finessing? Like, how, how, how you make your plays? All right, before Bella Thorne blew this shit up, like, you'd be like, all right, for, like, 30 days, try it's, like, $50, all right? But instead of it being a porn shit, it's just pictures of me with my shirt off in a park. And then I just keep the money. They they pay for it, you keep the money. That's, that's so what you Random girls, man. Random girls. Random girls, moms. Like, it'd be weird shit. I How much money, money you made so far off OnlyFans? Off OnlyFans? I done at least made, like, three grand since July or June. That's when I You started. made three grand just taking off your shirt? Because they thought I was fucking. They thought I was fucking. Because my name Boner Guys. So they was like, ooh, you guys did some dick. Like, girls really be wanting to see my dick, but nah, I ain't like that. You ain't seen no dick pics or nothing. We would, you like, would you would you sell your feet on OnlyFans? Hell yeah. <laughs> bro, if I, bro, that's what I'm saying. Females, they can get money so much quicker than we can because they could just, like, send feet pictures and be like, all right, $50. And they're going to pay for it. Mm. I can't do that though. Have you ever thought about like having sex with your girl on camera and then putting it on OnlyFans? Like, yeah, no, nah, I won't. I won't disrespect her like that. I mean, y'all can put mask on this shit though. So <laughs> put the ski mask on. No, no, <laughs> man, no, no face, no case. No face, no case. <laughs> I might, I might. Nah, I'm not gonna do that like that. That's my love. I won't do that. <laughs>
Man. That's another thing. Why did every young guy be with, with one girl? Though? Why is that, though? With one girl? Yeah. Because these hoes ain't shit, man. These hoes ain't shit out here, man. These hoes, like, in South Carolina especially, they be having all types of diseases and shit. I'm not going out bad. Like, I'm not. <laughs> and then you get the, no, bro, like, you get to fighting with, a niggas want to fight you over their bitch, bro. I'm not fighting you over your girl. Like, she don't Yeah. Know. And I realized this, I did some research. South Carolina is number one in domestic violence on men killing women. And I did another research saying 50% of men are in jail over pussy. Pussy is powerful, man. This thing is going crazy over it. Like, Just crazy over some pussy. Women going crazy over some dick. And this is my new <laughs> thing right here. This is my new thing. If you ain't got a... If I can't goddamn... If you ain't got a parking spot at your house, I ain't going to your damn house. I don't need to be there. Hell no. I'm not going there. You think I'm about to walk up in there? Hell no. Like, bro, like, guys, I see a lot of guys just want to chase ass. Chasing ass. That's the new thing now in 2020, just chase ass and smoke weed all day. What the fuck? Niggas ain't getting in their bag. Hell no. Niggas rather spend all their money on weed. Like, I'm not going to lie, like, and I was 17, and I was 16, that's all I did. Cause like, I ain't have nothing to do. But now, hell no, I never spend like all my money on weed. Like, weed not that fucking important. Yeah, like, I feel like, man, the women outshining the men right now, this shit's sad, bro. Niggas really getting it going out sad, though. Women in their bag right now. Like, I give all the props to women right now. They taking the fuck over. Like, they like, fuck what y'all doing. Y'all can smoke all that weed, do what y'all doing. Let me get my bag. I'm like, Cause they can do it so much easier. Like as soon as the dudes see a female, that's the first thing they're gonna do. Click. Especially if they got the talent too, they definitely got a fan base. But niggas, it's yeah, they're worried about the next man and hating instead of getting in your bag. <laughs> stop being a bitch. That's what's wrong. All y'all niggas watching right now, it ain't never too late to stop being a bitch. Stop being a bitch. Stop being a bitch. Twenty twenty to forever. Stop being a bitch. And- What's your favorite porn site, bro? Like, what site you be on the most? Uh, X X X X. Yeah, I don't really do Pornhub like that. Pornhub is when I was a kid. I'm a grown man now. You're doing different. <laughs> doing di- okay, you done you done moved up now. Up the echelon. <laughs> now, shit. I do a real shit now, man. You know what I'm saying. I really want to be a porn star though. Like when I get like big, big, and I got like millions in the bank, I'm definitely. So you feel like your girl would be comfortable with that, bro? Uh, and when she see that bag come in, she will. I don't know if she will now, though. If you was a porn star, what scene would you shoot first? Uh, the first scene I would shoot, it would definitely be with someone Richards, but we would be on top of a balcony. Why a balcony? Because I like having balcony sex. Man, I'd be fucking bitch in the hotel when I go out of town. I'm not going to lie. Dog in these hoes. You know? You'd be fucking on the hotel balcony? Recording yeah. this shit? Record, bro, like, I literally have light set up, real cameras, recording me fucking these hoes, like. You still shit. got that still? Yes, well, I can't show my girl, so I have to lock it up on my other phone, but, yeah. <laughs> so, so you be, so you recording on your iPhone, and then you, like, fucking missing hit burst, and then all the pictures just take a shot, and then you just take a bunch of pictures and shit, and then you, like, fuck. <laughs> Are the are the women knowing that they're being recorded? Are they do they already know that? Yeah. They're okay. They and they down it. for it. And they down, they down for it. For it. And, you, and you're Some doing this. Bring it up first. They be Some saying, "I want it first. Damn, bro, I must be using my full dick capabilities, like right now, like seriously, dude. I must be using my dick capabilities, like I should. Your memory only gonna last a little bit. You're not gonna remember every second of it. So that's. Are you paying this women? Hmm. Are you paying them? Hell no, we just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> we just fucking. I ain't paying for no pussy. If they want to pay for some dick, though, they can pay for some dick. But I ain't paying for no pussy, bro. That's. Mm, I'm not even girl it. on a date. Mm. So you say, but you everybody, everybody, every man pays if you took a chick out on a date, though. Have you done that? Hell no, I ain't taking mm-hmm. out on no date. If we just like, I feel like we grown now. If we just fucking, we just fucking. Let's let's just lay that up. I'm not taking you on a fucking date. We're not going on a date. If we fucking, let's go fuck. If we're trying to have a relationship, let's talk. But if we just fucking, let's fuck. Like, come on, man. 
Yeah, a lot of niggas going out saying they taking these women out, <laughs> then they go home and fucking dirty dick rotting it off that full <laughs> course meal. They getting the full belly and dick. Y'all niggas going out saying it, bro. Y'all is pitiful. Buying niggas, bags and shit. I'm like, yeah. oh no. Y'all niggas buying these hoes bags and they fucking and sucking Tom, Dick, and Harry Dick. These hoes out here getting five or six man trained, and y'all hoes out here trying to cuff the pussy and romance the pussy. You need to stop. Cause y'all being pussy, pussy. <laughs> Tell you, let me get. I know a lot of hoes got trains running on them. Y'all going out nasty. Mm. Would you do that mm. if you look? You have to do that as a porn star. Would you do that? Fuck, I feel like that's the weirdest shit ever, bro. In my personal opinion, I'll never be in the same room butt ass naked with another nigga. Like what the <laughs> fuck y'all got going on, bro? Like dead ass, bro. Niggas be weird, bro. I think that shit weird. Like what hey. the fuck? <laughs> hey, if the niggas running the train, if the niggas are running the train, Nigel, the niggas are looking at your asshole. Bro. <laughs> the niggas are looking at your booty hole, bro. And you need to stop that, that shit. You got to look at another nigga. Hey, Fuck why do you feel like that's weird, though? Like, why do you feel like you couldn't get up? Because you might have to do that as a porn star. Hell no. I'm, I'm saying, fuck no, bro. Fuck no. Give me another scene. Because, like, that's not me. Like, I wouldn't feel comfortable with another naked ass nigga with his dick out in the room. I'm trying to fucking. I'm supposed to focus on pussy as a dick in the room. Feel what I'm saying? That's no, what I'm bro. saying. Then both of y'all dick and balls touching in the scene and shit. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> but this is my thing. That's some weird shit because I feel like them niggas right there look like they're trying to blow each other back out. And then exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. High five and shit. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That is that is the craziest shit, bro. Niggas like that shit. Niggas be like, bro, I'm gonna run a train on that bitch. Get naked bro. in front of another man. I done had some homeboys I stopped being cool with just because they was like, hey, man, I just, man. I got this hey, shit, man. The bitch sucking him up. Hold on, I'm sorry. What you was saying? It was like, you gonna run the train? I'm like, bro, you get the fuck out my face. <laughs> bro, no. Hey, bro, these old like that freaking shit, though, bro. These old Ailey like. When grown ass men get butt ass naked, like bro, I don't know how many times I've seen on porn star on porn hub on amateur because I used to I used to watch the amateur shit a lot, bro. Uh -huh. And I've been seeing the goddamn they've been in a dirty ass apartment and a chick sucking a man dick and the other dude high fiving his buddy while he hitting it from the back. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit, bro? Grown ass men, bro. <laughs> man, don't get your fucking bum ass out of here. With that <laughs> I can't go out like that, bro. That's some weird mm. ass shit right there. Mm -mm. Would you consider that gay? Yeah, I consider it gay personally. Because, <laughs> like, nigga, what the fuck, nigga? What the fuck? It's too. Nah, bro. That's gay to me. If you fucking a bitch with another nigga, just fuck the nigga. If you want to fuck this nigga so bad, just fuck him, bro. <laughs> Stop, Stop oh, lying to yourself. When I talked to this old, older guy, he was like, bro, that shit masculine, bro. I'm a. I'm really in tune with my masculinity. I can do that shit. I talked to an OG about that shit. I was like, bro, that's some weird shit. Bro, that, that, that shit right there ain't biggie, dog. That shit ain't fly. That, that, that shit ain't going. Y'all niggas pitching and y'all catching. Y'all niggas trying to act like y'all hard, but y'all really want y'all fucking back blown out. That's why I'm running train. I know y'all. I'm pulling y'all card, bro. Y'all fake ass niggas. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, y'all really want your back blown up. Oh, <laughs> your back blow. Don't act like a gangster in front of me. And now, you, <laughs> and then you want your back blown out later, though. Come on now, bro. Look at this nigga puppy, this bitch. You still hard. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then I, and I used to watch porn. I used to see this niggas dick, dicks, dicks, and ass touching, bro. Like, what kind of shit is that? Bro? Yeah, balls touching you over here. Yeah, high five. High five, five and this shit. Air nigga in the room, dick holding. What kind of shit that is, bro? <laughs> Your dick hard around, and your dick hard as shit. And you butt ass naked in the room with another man, bro. The only time I'm butt ass naked, I was in, in the shower playing football one year. That's the only reason I was goddamn naked. That shit is weird. That shit is gay. Nigga, <laughs> shit Nigga that shit oh, gay. God. Nigga, gay. <laughs> oh, God. Bro, I swear to God, I feel that way. Like, I don't care, bro. That shit weird to me. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen, though, bro. Crazy shit. Niggas gotta, we gotta stop upholding that shit, I feel like. We can't just let shit slide, bro. We let too much slide, shit slide in 2020. It's a lot of shit niggas let slide. Like, niggas, I'm gonna I'm put this out there because this some real shit. Niggas be letting their homeboy slide when they pedophiles. Niggas be letting their homeboy slide when they hit women. Niggas be letting their homeboy slide when they be disrespectful to women. Like, 
niggas just be letting their homeboy slide. And I stop being cool with a lot of niggas because I spoke up on that shit. Like, bro, you're not just going to do certain shit. And I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah. You cool, bro. Nah, that shit weird. That shit not that cool. That shit weird. If you a grown-ass man in your 20s trying to talk to her, if you late in your 20s trying to talk to high school girl, nigga, you <laughs> sick. You a sick-ass <laughs> nigga, dog. And if you grown ass man ain't taking care of your kids, I don't want you on my channel, bro. You Hell ain't taking no. care of your seeds, dog. You ain't handling responsibility as a man. You a fuck nigga. Thank you. Hey man. Hey man. Fuck talk about from you. Oh God. Oh God. You a fuck oh. nigga. And if you out there hitting women kids. and shit, you a bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. Oh God. I'll Too many bitch ass man. niggas out here, bro. This I, I just had an interview with somebody named Zoe. The other day, mm -hmm. I was like, bro, they talking about the goddamn coronavirus spreading, but I said, this is another pandemic. The bitch assness out here spreading, dog. <laughs> the bitch assness is worse. I'm telling you, niggas just, but niggas, they have love so much for they niggas, they don't want to be like, bro, that's some bitch ass shit. I love a nigga enough to tell him you a bitch ass nigga for that, bro. Like, that's not cool. Man, niggas love it. Niggas will give $20 to their homeboy before they get it to their girl. To their kids, before they give it to their kids. Like, nigga. that shit not cool, y'all. Weird, bro. And to be honest with you, the females ride harder for the niggas anyways. <laughs> I know some females that's way harder than a lot of these niggas, bro. Like, hey, man. The females out here riding, bro. <laughs> and you also said you was toting the pole at 13. I was like, God damn, bro. You just toting the pole at 13? I had to. Like, like I always said, bro, I ain't never want to be a gangster, bro. I ain't never want to be a thug. But, like, it's some shit that went down. Like, I had to, like, niggas been saying they was trying to kill me for, like, years now, bro. Like, just because I stand up for shit. Like, I was standing up for my mother, you feel what I'm saying? Nigga took that the wrong way. I said I said what I said. I'm defending my moms, bro. You got a problem with it? We can meet up. Bro, I had to fight niggas every day just because it was one nigga. Get some booty, bro. So, hey, man. Had to, man. Had to. Uh, say that. Man. You also made a song called CM Punk. What is a CM Punk? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm a big wrestling fan. So, like, CM Punk is, like, one of my favorite wrestlers, bro. Because he just popped this shit. I was like, yeah, I like this nigga, bro. <laughs> uh, you, still like watch wrestling? you still watch wrestling and shit, bro? Sometimes I be too busy now, but like when I can catch up on it, like I don't miss like a year of it because I've been busy. Yeah. But like I watch it because like that's what I grew up on. Like my grandma's put me on that shit, bro. Of course I'm gonna still watch. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. I'm gonna be sixty years old and still watching wrestling. It's fun. It's entertaining, bro. Like that's what the rap game is, is wrestling because shit fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the rap game, game is just like Jerry Springer. You ain't never lied. You ain't never lied, bro. You ain't never lied, bro. That's some real shit. Niggas be like, I'm the man. I'm the man. You see him in person. Uh, what's up, bro? But, and you also said that your pops tried to kill you. Why was that? Because I was just defending my mom. It's like, you know, it's some parents. It's like, it's either me or them. It was that one situation. I took it the wrong way. Had to get busy like that. Like I defend my mom before I defend any man. That's that's my heart. Like that's my mom. You feel what I'm saying? And like I don't care if I came out your balls, I came out of her vagina to get here. You feel what I'm saying? So, and you wasn't helping. So like, who the fuck am I gonna side with? Like you like six four, she five one. Why the fuck did I side with you? That's some bitch nigga shit. So, hey man, try to do what he try to do. I didn't succeed because I'm still here. So. It is what it is. Yeah, uh, so you grew up witnessing domestic violence in your household? Hell yeah. My, that's why I didn't respect my pops. Like, as a street nigga, I respect him, you know. He a GD, so, you know, how that go? I respect him for that, but as a man, I couldn't respect that. Like, you putting your hands on a woman, like, that shit not cool, bro. Like, mm -mm. I don't fuck with that, for real. Do you see that pretty much often, that marathon, or your pops or your mom going at it, or your pops hitting your mom? Yeah, like, he wasn't there when I was born because he was in prison, but when he got out, till I was, like, 10, that's all I saw him just beating on me. That shit was cool. Like, you're not supposed to be raised in the household like that. That's why I was like, it's a lot of toxic masculinity. Like, 
you can't be a street nigga and hit women. That's how I feel. Like that should be a violation. Like you shouldn't be able to do that and then come back to the hood. So I'm saying like the niggas let shit like that go, which is weird. Was that very traumatic growing up seeing that shit? Hell yeah. I'm, I'm bro, like I always say, I'm I never try to be a gangster, bro. I never try to be man. I always just love having fun. When I saw that shit, bro, I realized it's more to life than what I know. Like more to life. Like that shit fucked my head up. Like I didn't know how to love. Like I still don't know how to love. Like I be telling my girl, like I don't really know what I'm doing because what I saw, what a relationship was, that shit fucked me up. Like I don't, I don't understand that shit, bro. Like how do you hurt somebody you love like that or say you that love? Ain't love them. Exactly. Do you suffer PTSD from seeing all that shit? From a lot of shit. And it's really because of my pops, man. <laughs> like, from a lot of shit, I got PTSD from. Because he was just a wild nigga. Like, he wouldn't understand that he's becoming a man now. So you got to, like, stop certain shit you doing. Like, he didn't understand that. Like, you can't do certain shit around kids. So a lot of this shit that I seen, it just fucked with my head. So that's why I mm. smoke a lot. <laughs> Do you ever seek therapy? I I used to, but that shit didn't work. It doesn't work. Because they, they don't understand. Like, you're trying to explain everything you've gone through, but they don't understand because they don't come from that. So they're like, all right, all right, paycheck. Like, so that's, that don't work for me. I just meditate, you know. That's my therapy, meditation. So you pray? You can call it praying. Yeah, I pray. I pray. What, what I you pray. praying for? You praying for repentance, guidance, or wisdom? Like, what you praying for? I pray for wisdom. I pray for guidance. I pray for a positive mindset. I pray for nothing negative to harm me from my goals. You feel what I'm saying? I pray for my family. You know, like, just regular nigga shit. I just pray for a better life. Like, <laughs> Prayers. Did you grow up going to church then? Yeah. Um my great grandma wrestled, so she was a pastor. So I grew up in the church, but I didn't really fuck with church like that. Because I was like, this shit just don't seem right. Cause the order I got, I read the Bible, I was like, obey your master. This shit sound lame as fuck. Alright. Blah blah blah. I'm like Certain shit, it's not going, you're not just going to play me like a dummy. Like, so that, I believe in God, but I don't believe in religion. Like, that religion shit, that just separates people more in all honesty. Like, that's not my thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, let's move on to the bright side, man. Um, yeah, who do you feel like the best twerker right now? Best twerker? Yeah. Uh, I got some names for you if you don't know. I'm going to let you go. Lil Wayne daughter. Original. Yes. Now I'm I, I'm gonna give you some names and I want All you right. to uh let me know some. I got Ari Flex with this money bag oh. money bag uh girlfriend. She fine. I got Megan the Stallion, I got Mulatto, I got Nicki Minaj, I got Cardi B, got Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, the City Girls and Trina. Now all the people I name who you feel like the best twerk. Best twerk. I would say Mulatto, but she can't twerk like that. Uh, I'm going to say Cardi B. Cardi B got the best twerk game. Because she can do a split with it. Like, <laughs> Did you see that WAP video? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was fire. I don't care what nobody said, bro. I like I wish girls I could, that can do that. Hey, I wish I was that ground when she was got down doing that split on both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I tried. Oh, yeah, she getting divorced, right? Yeah, yeah, she is getting a divorce right now. What's your thoughts on that shit, bro? I was about to mention that shit. Hey, man, nigga can't change his way. She's supposed to leave, man. She also uh, trying to get custody of the child, though, too. What's your thoughts on that shit? Well, hey, man, she is the mother. Like, the kid's supposed to go to the mom, if it, especially if the mom's right in the head and she got her life together. Yeah, like, I have got enough kids. I think he'd be okay, be okay with this one. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I also seen some shit that uh, Ari, I seen something on Twitter that Ari 
Ari Fletcher and the twerk team might have a, a twerk battle. Who you think win that shit? Ari. Uh, Why? You seen Ari twerk? <laughs> Is it real? <laughs> Do you think that shit real? Hell no, that shit not real at all. But she can twerk. <laughs> she got ass for days. For years. I was like, damn, you caught this one. That ass was like a midget fighting in the fucking bag. Like, a midget trying to break out of a fucking bag, bro. Like, that's how fit this bro. is, bro. Like, oh they, 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 in, they, like, they in a sack, like, Santa Claus sack bag. Five midgets. And they trying to bust out right now, bro. Like, that's how they, they just scrambling trying to get out. That's how her ass moving. But you can tell it's fake, though. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not fucking a girl with a fake ass. Hey man, I don't give a fuck if it's real fake or real expensive, bro. As long as it look good. <laughs> nah, bro, that shit hurt. Mm -mm. But the mm -mm. twerk team, I remember the twerk. I don't know if you remember the twerk team, but back in my day, man, they was natural, man. Like they had moves. They made that, that shit popular. Really I feel like they definitely did. Cause like, really though, wasn't no females twerking before that. Yeah, they had shit nah, little nah. ass, but they wasn't twerking, twerking. Not everybody trying to twerk some. Miley Cyrus back in the day trying to twerk her flat ass. That Balls everywhere. I fuck with Miley music though. I'm not gonna lie, Miley music hard, but that whole twerking shit. Stop, baby, stop. She was just trying to get cool with black people. That's all that shit was. Yeah. Was uh, that was that was just a uh, just that was just a ploy for black people. Huh? It was like a Justin Bieber move. We're going to get cool with black people to get some views, and then we're going to leave. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. We're just trying to deploy black people, you know, market it off. But she, eh, her ass was flat. She's not even all that good looking, in my opinion. She no. likes to suck some dick, though. <laughs> nah, I don't think she can suck dick, low key. The way she put her tongue out, I was like, mm -hmm. Um, and you also see the shit with Travis Scott with the McDonald's suit. You plan on getting that shit? Hell no. Why not? Right. I don't eat beef like that. Mm -hmm. So, that's not my thing. Plus, fast food not healthy. Plus, it's fucking McDonald's. I'm not eating no fucking McDonald's, bro. Fuck McDonald's is disgusting, bro. I don't care. No, hate me. Hate me. This shit trash. <laughs> McDonald's not <laughs> good. It's not.